Welcome to r slash I don't work here lady, where we share stories about folks that are mistaken for employees by irate customers. And the first story is, you be the employee, I'll be the manager. I just moved to a new city and was taking a look around the local superstore on my lunch break. I wasn't planning on getting anything except a drink, so no card or basket, which added to the confusion. Before I rounded an aisle, the yelling started, and around the corner I saw a woman berating a tall fellow with a shopping basket, standing with his head down. The woman was shrieking about how much of an idiot he was, how could store hire stupid morons, and how she was going to get his sorry A fired. All the while he's saying, but ma'am, I'm just shopping. I just helped that lady get something from the shelf. And the ever famous, I don't work here. She was not having it. I want to speak to your manager right now. Just as I got to the middle of the aisle, she turned and saw me looked me up and down and screeched, finally, your manager is here and she'll take care of you. As she stood with her hands on her hips and a smug look on her face, I decided whatever, two can play this game, so I asked her what the problem was. Apparently my employee was helping another lady, but when she wanted him to go get something from the back for her, he refused. I looked at him, winked and said, is that true? Did you refuse to help this lady? And before he could say anything, I turned back to her and said, thanks for bringing this to my attention, I'll take it from here. I turned back and said, would you please come with me? And he nodded and followed me out of the aisle. As we got to the corner, he turned back to me and said, I'm sorry, ma'am, I don't actually work here. I said, me neither, but she doesn't need to know that. You okay? He started to smile, then looked behind me and his eyes widened. She was back. I said loud enough for her to hear, I'm sorry, this isn't working out. Please clock out and go home. And next time you come here, it will be as a customer, not staff. I turned to her, nodded and walked out the door. So I, the non-manager at a grocery store, fired a non-employee and everyone went home happy. Except me, because I forgot to pick up a drink in all the excitement. The second story is, even in cattle country you can't escape Karens. Bit different story to most of the ones on this subreddit, but I think it's still a good fit here. English is my first language and I'm not on mobile, so any typos are deserving of an internet dragging of biblical proportions. I work as a ranch hand on my girlfriend's family ranch, out in the middle of cow country USA. The closest town has a population of less than 300 just for scale. It's one of the larger ones in the immediate area, over several thousand acres and hundreds of cows. Most graze in the pasture, but there are always some that are fed hay in the barnyard. Unfortunately, we had run out of our stockpile, so we called around to find who had hay to spare, and I was quickly dispatched to fetch. The only place that had hay available was a family-run feed store slash ranch, about halfway between us and what is the closest city. Even cattle country is not immune to sprawl as farms are slowly turning into estates for bored Karens to move into, with their high-priced lawyer husbands. This story involves just such a Karen. Our cast, me, a ranch hand dressed in a stereotypically excessive amount of denim, with a Carhartt ball cap and work boots. Karen, your middle-aged white woman dressed to the gills in her English riding outfit, complete with riding crop and helmet, the type of woman to make her husband move to the country so she can ride her horse easier. But then get angry that the farm next door is too loud, what with all the farming and such. FYI, don't make a fool of yourself in such extremely small towns. No one has anything better to do than gossip, especially during COVID. Now that our backdrop is set, I'll get to the point. I had arrived at the feed store to pick up the hay. The store had already started to stack my order, 120 bales outside for me, as this was going to take three trips to complete. I paid for the whole order, and the first and second trips went without issue. I was thinking it was going to be an easy day of stacking hay and driving and that I would be done early, if only I knew what awaited me on my third trip. I pulled my beat-up Sierra back into the feed store for the third time that day. The sun hung low in the sky and beat down on my neck as I begun to load my final bales. I'm sweating away the final hours of the day when a white Escalade EXD pulls down the dirt driveway. For those that don't know, it's Cadillac's attempt to turn an SUV into a pickup without changing any of the SUV parts. As anyone that's driven a proper utility or work truck will tell you, it's useless for anything but looking fancy and bragging that you have a pickup at the country club. At first, I pay it no mind and keep loading my bales. It pulls up near my truck. After a pregnant pause, which I could only assume was to straighten her hair or touch up her makeup, Karen emerges from her useless mobile and proceeds to stare at me silently. I give her a nod howdy and keep loading my bales. After each bale, she stamps her fine leather boots in the dirt, louder and louder. After five bales, Karen had enough. Well, aren't you going to help me? I'd like to buy some hay. She basically yells at me. No, but I'm sure someone inside can. Load 10 of these in my not a pickup while I go inside to pay, she said as she pointed at my yet to be loaded pile. I tell her no, as they are my bales and I don't work at the feed store. Yes you do, you're the hand that loads them, just do your job and stop being lazy. She turns and stomps off inside, 
muttering about rude employees. How I was being lazy by loading my own bales, I'll never know. She re-emerges as I'm loading the final bales from my pile onto the top of my truck. Seeing the pile gone and none on her pickup, she flies into a rage. Why didn't you load mine? All you stupid rednecks are the same and don't know how to listen. I'm a redhead and burn quite easily, so at that point in the day I did actually have a sunburn on my neck. She rushes up to me as I again tell her that I do not in fact work at the feed store. I throw the final bale onto the top of the stack on my truck. Loading complete, I brush past her and climb into my truck. She screams, I won't let you leave till I get my hay. She runs to her still empty two-wheel drive pickup and drives it to the mouth of the driveway and parks across it blocking the entire entrance. She smugly looks at me from the driver's seat and yells, now give me my hay. Now, the driveway was flanked on either side by muddy ruts filled with rain from the night before. To a Karen it would seem impassable, but to a rancher it's something you drive across multiple times on most days. As Karen sat smugly in the driver's seat thinking she'd bested me, I simply reached down and threw my truck into four high, gunned the motor and drove through the mud to get around her down the rest of the driveway and onto the main road. The best part was that my front tire splashed the mud high enough to cover Karen herself as she had left her window open and managed to get herself stuck as she tried to follow me down the drive. The third story is, first come first serve lady. This was back right at the start of the TP shortage. Mobile post, hope I get formatting correct. Players, me slash I equals me. Karen equals Karen. Karen Jr. equals Karen's kid or something like that. Little old lady equals little old lady. Manager equals random target manager. Cop equals cop. I was grabbing some stuff at the local target in a red t-shirt. As I was rolling into the frozen food section, I noticed little old lady trying to get a package of TP off of the top shelf. I offered to her sister. She declined and I moved down the aisle. When I came back up the other side, there was now little old lady and a Karen now trying to get it first. She quickly started calling me over, demanding I get that package down for her and refused to accept that I didn't work there. So I reached up to the top shelf, grabbed the package of TP and handed it to the little old lady. Karen went nuts at this point, trying to reach up and take it out of little old lady's hands. I stepped in the middle and told her that little old lady was trying to get it before I went down the aisle and had declined my assistance to get it. As she reached up to push me out of the way, I told her that if she touched me, I would have to ensure she was kept there while I pressed charges. I'm not exactly a big guy, but I am 6 foot, 1.8 meters, and 230 pounds, 104 kilograms, and in fairly decent shape, and my try me face is on point. She backed off and huffed off. I thought it was over. Wrong. I went my own way, and part of the way down the next aisle I hear little old lady and Karen yelling. I peek around the aisle. Karen now has Karen Jr. with her, and Karen Jr. is blocking little old lady from getting to her cart, while Karen is grabbing the TP. I don't know why I got back involved. Karen just had me all sorts of mad. I go to Karen's cart and stand between Karen and her cart. Karen is yelling that she's going to get my manager. I welcomed her to do so. She finally decided it was worth pushing me. I grabbed the TP out of her arm, grab my phone, calling the police. I am moderately hearing impaired, and my hearing aids connect to my phone, so I put my phone back in my pocket. While on the phone with 911, Karen thinks I'm talking to myself at this point and tries again to remove the TP from my arms. I just start towards the checkout and ask little old lady to follow me. Karen and Karen Jr. now both are trying to pull it out of my arm. At this point, manager shows up. Karen starts yelling that I'm being rude and trying to interfere with her shopping for my own gain. Manager asks me why I'm not helping Karen. I told him I didn't even work there, then filled him in on what happened starting with little old lady trying to get the TP, refused help, Karen tried to snipe it, got violent when I helped little old lady since she was first and that the police are on their way, and then I pointed out I was still on the phone with dispatch. Manager, little old lady, and Karen all look confused at this point. I told them about my hearing aids and Karen turned pale. All of the conversation and threats were on the 911 recording and she just realized it. Midway through the conversation, the cops showed up. He asked for all the stories, went and reviewed the videos. I then told him I wanted to press charges. Karen and Karen Jr. left in cuffs. Little old lady got her TP. I was late for dinner. The next story is, Entitled Karen learns I don't have to help her. At the start of the COVID lockdown for non-essentials, my work actually increased. After a week of 12 to 16 hour night shifts, I come home on my Friday, what y'all day workers call Thursday. I park at my spot and start to walk up to my house when the wild Karen appears. Important info, my wife is a property manager for a trailer park. Karen, excuse me, I need you to bring your wife outside so I can talk to her now. Me, no, I don't work for the park, and she'll be in the front office once it opens. Karen, you have to, it's an emergency. Me, really? Is someone dying or in danger of being injured? Karen, no, it's about this guy's. Me, then it isn't an emergency, and like I said, I don't work here and have nothing to do with the park. Karen, well, as a concerned citizen, you should. 
Me, I'm not concerned. Karen, I'll report you to the office if you don't help me. Me as I walk inside. Oh, please, don't report me to a place I don't work. Oh, no. I walk inside and my wife is getting ready for work, and I warn her she'll be having a random encounter with the Karen today. Her face was FML. When my wife was on break, she told me that the Karen was so worried about dogs she heard barking, not whimpering, barking, like they were playing in a tenant's home, and was going to call the cops to bust down the door to see if the dogs had the corona and were dying, because the owner wouldn't answer if the dogs were sick. And the last story is, Karen mistakes me for a waiter. I was at a restaurant with my friends a few years ago. I don't like choosing what to wear, so my wardrobe mainly consists of plain black shirts and jeans. The waiters at the restaurant I was at had black shirts and jeans, but they had the logo on the shirts and wore aprons. I had just finished my main meal and decided to go to the restroom. I managed to get there fine, but on my way back I heard an excuse me in a somewhat entitled voice. I ignored it, as I hate confrontation. I have autism so I find communication difficult. A few moments later she tapped on my shoulder. This made me jump as I wasn't expecting it. I turned around and looked at her, waiting for a response. She started ordering food. I think she thought I was a waiter. I sheepishly said that I don't work there and turned to walk back to my table. Then she tugged on my sleeve. At this point I was already a bit shaken, but she started shouting at me. She shouted things like she knew the manager and that I would be fired. The people she was with told her to calm down, but she carried on. She then pushed me, which made me stumble back a bit. At this point a waiter came over and asked what was happening. The woman said that I assaulted her and that I tried to steal her money. The waiter told me to wait there as he got the manager. The manager came and asked the woman what happened. He then called the police. They arrived and took statements from the woman. The police officers went to review the footage from the security cameras. The police officers came back and asked me if I wanted to press charges. The woman, thinking that they were directing the question to her, shouted yes. Then the police officer looked at the woman and said, not you, be quiet. He looked at me. I said yes. The manager decided to give me the meal for free and I got to enjoy a delicious chocolate brownie. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.